Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC using stored procedures how to consume web API. And here we got the final output. Notice we have consumed the web API using stored procedures in MVC. And this is the web API. We have consumed this in this index view page using stored procedures. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in MVC Web API, first we will check the table in SQL Server Management Studio. The table is an employee table which contains four columns EMP ID, EMP name, email, and salary. Now, my aim is I want to create a new store procedures for this table. Later, I will implement the store procedures in Web API then I will consume in web MVC. So let's create a stored procedure. The table I have created in the new DB database. The table is here and in the same database there is a programmability folder. Expand that one. Is a stored procedures. Expand the stored procedures. Right click the stored procedures. New stored procedure. Let's create a new stored procedure. The stored procedure name is display records I don't require this default parameter codes and as well as I don't need this default select statement let's add our select statement select start from the table name is dbo.employee table let's copy that one and add to the stored procedure now it's time to create a stored procedure execute and here we got a message command completed successfully. Let's refresh the stored store procedures folder. And here we got the display record stored procedure is added to our database. Now let's write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the dotnet framework i'm using 4.6.1 the application name is stored procedure web api mvc it's a project name click ok and from the templates i'm selecting web api click ok and the project is created successfully let's close this default window Let's open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, first I'm adding ADWord.NET Entity Model. Right click the project name, add ADWord.NET Entity Data Model. Let's give the model name, which is EMP Model. Click OK. And from the model contents, I'm selecting the first option, EF Designer from Database. Click Next. Let's create a new connection of SQL Server. I'm adding my SQL Server name. After adding a SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. The database name is a new DB. I have selected test connection. I succeeded. Okay. Okay. And here we got our connection string. And the connection string name is a new DB entities. And I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. Click next. Let's choose the objects of the selected database. I'm expanding the DB folder also. Our table name is the employee table I have selected and as well as come to the bottom there is a stored procedures and functions expand that one expand the dbo also our stored procedure name is a display records let's select that one click finish and here the employee model is added to a project now after adding the entity model now right click the entity model, add new, let's import the function, the stored procedure, the function name is a display records, is our stored procedure name, here notice the employee table is added entity, the function name, get emp details, is the function name, click ok. And here the display records, the stored procedure and function name both are added into our model browser. 
Now after that we open solution explorer. Let's minimize the references folder. Now I'm creating now I'm adding a class in this models folder. Right click the models folder, add class. Let's give the class name is EMP class add. And now in this EMP class I'm defining only the public properties. Public int. In our table we have four columns EMP ID, EMP name, email and salad. Let's add those all. EMP ID get set public string EMP name get set public string email get set and the last one is public int cell after adding the properties to the EMP class next open solution explorer now I'm adding the controller API controller in this controllers folder I click the controllers folder add select the controller Let's select the web API to controller empty, add, give the controller name, I'm adding EMP, add. And here we got our API controller which is EMP. Now first in this API controller, let's import the namespace for the model using SP my project name dot models folder semicolon. Public I HTTP action result get EMP details is a method. Now in this action result method, I'm adding my connection string, which is a new DB entries and these is equals to new new DB entries. Next, I list the I list the T type of elements in the list from the EMP class. Let's create an object. EMP object is equals to nd dot. Here I'm adding my store procedure name, which is a display records dot select x lambda expression new EMP class. The next step. Let's add the properties. EMP ID is equals to x dot emp id comma emp name is equals to x dot emp name comma email is equals to x dot email comma salary is equals to x dot salary and notice here we got a small error cannot implicitly convert type into int so int question mark so let's open the class the public in salary I'm adding the question mark to the data type switch to the API controller now let's add again salary is equals to x dot salary dot to list EMP class return ok method in this okay method, I'm adding the MP object. Semicolon. That's it. We have added the coding part to fetch the records using stored procedures. Let's browse this web API controller, how it looks the output. Google Chrome. And here we got the default output of the project, which is a home page. Now we require the web API method after the host name forward slash api forward slash uh, let's add the web api controller name switch to the coding part our controller name is the emp copy this one this is the api controller let's add that one enter and here we got the output of that web api in the XML file format. Now let's consume this web API into MVC controller. Let's switch back again to the coding part. Stop debugging. Open Solution Explorer. 
Now in the controllers folder, I'm adding MVC controller. Right click the controllers folder, add controller. I'm selecting MVC file controller empty, add. The controller name is EMP results. This is my controller name. Click add. And here we got our controller EMP results. Now in this controller, first thing, I'm adding the namespace using project name dot models. After that, after that, I'm using HTTP client to consume the web API. So we require the HTTP client namespace using system dot net dot HTTP namespace. Now let's add in the index action result HTTP client hc is an object is equals to new http client hc dot base address is equals to new uri this uri method takes the string property between double quotes i'm adding uri string let's add the web api uri this one copy this one let's add the uri semicolon we don't require this one here yeah. now let's consume the web api controller emp for that i'm declaring a variable emp consume is equals to hc dot get async get async method takes a string parameter the request uri but when double quotes i'm adding the controller web controller name emp EMP consume dot wait method after consume variable read data is equals to EMP consume dot result semicolon if read data dot is success status code once the data is read from the web API from this EMP now I want to show the results variable display results is a variable is equals to read data dot content dot read as async I list in this I list the T type I'm adding the my EMP class name EMP class semicolon display results dot wait method semicolon now to display the results I require the I enumerable I'm adding the out T is a EMP class let's declare a variable EMP object is equals to null let's add this object EMP object is equals to display results dot a result property and the final step in the return view I am adding the EMP object that's it we have consumed the web API in this MVC controller now we require the view page of this action result index now before adding the index view page we must build the application first build build solution And here we got a message build succeeded. Let's close this output message box. Now it's time to create the view page of this action result index. Highlight the index method, right click the mouse, add view. The view name is index, the template, I'm selecting the list template, the model class, I'm adding EMP class. Click add. And here we got our index view page also. Now in this index view page, I'm adding the center tag. Let's add this center tag at the bottom after the table close. The next step, I don't require this action links, edit details and delete. And at the top also, I'm deleting the create link also. Let's change the header. 
unzoom web API using stored procedure HD tag and we see web API tutorials after that I am adding horizontal line that's it we have done the complete coding part but before running this application we must change the controller name open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one route config that says file open that one and notice here the controller name is the home which is a default one and deleting that one let's add our controller name which is the EMP results I'm adding MVC controller EMP results copy this one and add in the route.config file that's it and the action result is the index view page only which is this one let's check the results Google Chrome and here we got the final output notice we have consumed the web API using stored procedures in MVC and this is the web API we have consumed this in this index view page using stored procedures that's it